Hold on. Said, wait, no. I hit said, this one like, thing, though. Hey, Arnold, when y'all gonna get on the cloud, man, yeah, I saw the hard drives. Yeah, yeah. What's the word? The, we gotta it's get like, you on the cloud. All them hard drives that y'all got. I know. You can just get that on the cloud. Come on, now. Why y'all holding out? We just came. We got you. Now y'all know where we at, though. Yeah, we pull up. Oh, yeah, we, we can make moves. Oh, for sure. We really own this shit. <laughs> That's no, not see. No, you see. Now, see, if y'all, y'all got the type of shit. game like that where y'all can put us up on some shit, they take the media to the next level. Oh, that's it. That's what we make the media money at. Come on. Everybody oh, no. eats, B. Let's, let's do it. We just do it for real. We talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who else you waiting on? <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you. This, you want to hit him to the club? I mean, we hey, have oh, the, the paperwork in yeah, front of you. Yeah, don't mean that it ain't about to happen. Right? Because all y'all got. I mean, I know y'all shoot everything out of here. Yeah. Y'all got all the different studios. Yeah. All we got to do one is just take that, get y'all secured on the cloud, whether it's like Microsoft Azure, or whether it's Google, or whether it's AWS or Amazon. Give us, throw me a rough number. What that look like? Depends on how much. It just depends. That's it, the beauty yeah. of the cloud, right? It well, you see what we need, but you see what we need it for. Right. How much? I mean, do you know rough number how much content, like gigabytes, terabytes, is back there? I, I wouldn't know. Okay. So those are things that we'd have to know to kind of figure out how to build you out of infrastructure. It'd probably be. Couple of t- couple to tens of thousands. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like annually as well there too. It's, and the thing about it, it's all scaled upon the amount that you're doing too, right? Right. So you don't got to purchase that hardware off the rip and you may not even use it, right? Mm-hmm. Like the, the cloud is so flexible. It's like, yo, all right, bet. We did, you know, 20 gigs today. Right, Hold bet. up, bro. Let me just go and get this started, bro. <laughs> I don't want none of this to be wasted. Yes, sir. I had to ring that bell to let them know the black market is yeah. open, man. Look, welcome back to the black market. And look, we going high tech right now. We going high tech. We ain't no more hard drives. <laughs> we, 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 we going on the cloud now, bro. They put yes, me up on the cloud game, and I ain't want y'all to miss out on that. So we going to jump right into it, bro. We got the brothers from Text Giving yes, over here with us, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, introduce yourself. Let them know what's up, man. Going on. My name is Io. I'm one of the co-founders of Text Giving uh, from Highsville, Maryland, PG County. Text Giving is really just all about upskilling, um, really democratizing, making everywhere a tech hub. Right? We have contracts with the city of Atlanta, Washington D.C., and a lot of other cities where we're helping upskill the residents to get these cool tech skills. Right? We talked about the cloud. Yeah. We talked about cyber. And you know AI. We're going. You know, we'll get into that. We definitely got to get us some black AI. Bro. Yes, we need. We more need black to get. AI. We need to start with the old people first. I, yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah, all them it. angry old niggas. All them wild ass opinions yeah. that they had. We need a clown full of that. Yeah. So we can turn <laughs> we them into AI. AI replacement. To be yeah. honest, right? Yeah. So they be wild on Facebook. Damn shit! Now. <laughs> all that. We need all. That. No, for sure. Definitely, yeah. man. Definitely. You want to go ahead? And yeah, definitely. Yeah. So my name is Derma Lawrence, man. I'm from Atlanta. Um, you know, I'm one of the directors of marketing for Text Giving. That's what's up. Um, I've been in tech for a few years now, and uh, you know, we have all the things that you need to make it to where we can get you guys to the cloud as soon as possible. Bro, that's hard. Bro, Donna Ju says you're from Maryland. I just thought we probably had more people on, from Maryland on the black market than anything. What the hell y'all got going hey, on? It's in PG County, everybody wants to. You know about PG County. You know a little something, man. Independent. I'll just put it away. But I mean, PG, just like, I, I say it's kind of like Atlanta, right? It's like that black. You know, you know, Mecca, where you see a lot of people that's getting to it, really, you know, hungry, entrepreneurial. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing, man. People see what they saw, and then they just try to emulate it as well there, too, man. Bro, how y'all young brothers get into uh, tech, though? Whew, that's an interesting so, story. You, you want to go for it? You go ahead, bro. You lead it off. So, you know, me, <laughs> like I said, you know, I'm, I'm from Hasville. My parents are Nigerian. So okay. if y'all know anything about Nigerians, I just was up. No, that's, all, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's, that's, a <laughs> that's what we know in America. <laughs> That might be Atlanta. So be <laughs> nah, but in nah. all seriousness, you know, like my parents was really on it, you know, from the high yeah. school years, like freshman year. It was like, yo, we want you to get a job. Like it wasn't like go to basketball camp or something to get a job. So they put me in my uncle's tech job at 14 years old. And I ultimately just learned how to take computers apart. Well, there, all man. Nigerians know how to take shit apart. <laughs> hey, man, we go. Make, one thing about Nigerians, we're going to find a trade cell quick. phone work with no service, all that. Y'all <laughs> be on it. We're going to find a oh, trade. We're going to find a skill quick. So yeah, that was really about it. Sure. I, got into it I just, just rocked out with it ever since. What about you? Uh, well, similar to Ayo, my dad's Nigerian, my mother's Cameroonian. So Bruh, shout right out next. to all the Africans <laughs> coming over here taking full advantage of the shit niggas who were born here don't see. <laughs> I mean, no, nah, I think it's one of those things, too, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and my, my journey in the tech is a little different. So my background is uh, mechanical engineering. So okay. when I came out of college, I was working in the nuclear field. Um, and so I made the transition into tech, though, in, uh, after 2020. Um, so like I said, I grew up out here. I grew up in Gwinnett. So shout out to GECO. And then when I moved back to Atlanta in 2020, I was trying to make a pivot in my career. I wanted to you know, dive into entrepreneurship fully. 
Lost some money, you know how Atlanta, how that goes. Sometimes you get scammed, so I got scammed out. And I had a Damn decision. Nigeria. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't my people this time, thank God. <laughs> but no, um, I had to make a pivot, though. And so I decided to go back into the, the career field, the uh, corporate yeah. world, and I wanted to go into tech because I knew the opportunities were endless. So I followed that suit, and here we are today. Y'all got the approval from your parents? Yeah, 100%. I heard they hard to impress. Nah, yeah. tech is one yeah. of them joints. That's a that's a yeah. that's, that's a, a that's a green flag. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. What y'all specialize in? So for me, um, I started actually in automation engineering. So that's like a little bit more niche, but pretty much anything that you can automate um, with software as well. So a lot of software gets redundant, and I just started automating everything. But now I transitioned into product management, which is also niche. But pretty much those are the people who oversee building the product, right? When you think about the user data, how to roadmap, so on and so forth. So started with automations and got into uh, like roadmapping and building out the product as well. Too. Yeah. You? And I'm in tech sales. So I went from more of a technical background into more something what I thought would be more business related and revenue driving for the business. So like, I like money. You know, Me so too. That's my Nigerian style coming up. Right, right, right. <laughs> so I wanted to be a part of that as close as possible. And I figured what no better way to do it than, you know, selling these products that all these companies make. Yeah. That's hard. I think y'all need one more partner. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I think y'all need one more. Yeah, yeah. Might be so, you know what I'm saying? Get the pen and paper, let's make hey, it happen. Hey, hey. hey man, talk to like the young the next generation of black people, man, and like where the tech industry is going as far as, you know, with us and black, you know, black people in tech. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is, you know, it's a lot of different things. One, we in like this, you know, this real impasse in tech, right? Where right. we're, you know, probably 10 years ago was really focused on the cloud. We was really trying to get everybody on the cloud, right? Right now we're seeing everything focused around AI, right? And typically the way things have gone in tech is the fact that people who look like us are usually the last people to learn about how to learn how to build skills in these new age um, tech skills like AI, right? So really the focus is AI, but black people are once again left out of it, right? So what we're doing with text giving is we want to upskill these residents with these in-demand skills ASAP, so that way they can get these jobs, right? A lot of times when you look in the tech and you see different people in technical roles, you will not see people that look like us. In fact, there's only about two to three percent of people that make up these large tech corporations that actually are black and brown, right? It's I think it's more than that. They just got to use a screen name, right? you know, in the tech world, you know, you can be good. Don't nobody even know who you are. Right? No, I Might just be keeping the identity low, but y'all got to represent us, man, and make sure we don't get left out of it. That's what it's all about, no, for right? sure, man. And all it's a big. Matters. Also, what that does is it um, it mobilizes the economy as well, there too, right? It's not just about Yes, we want people to get these jobs, but this is what grows Atlanta or any other city into the next big tech hub like a Silicon Valley or right. New York as well there too. What is what is the black tech hub right now? It's debatable. <laughs> I think, but well, give me a few. Just, okay, just black. I, I, I'll start. I, Atlanta is definitely up DC there. as well. DC, number um, black tech hubs. I'll say Atlanta, DC. Charlotte in there. Charlotte's coming Houston. along. Hey, Charlotte, and this is a sleep, a sleeper. Uh, Raleigh, Durham. Okay. So that's research uh, triangle as well there too. That's a sleeper right there. Yeah. That's a very big uh, up and coming tech hub as well. So I'll say those. Are, and then also got? too, New York as well. You got that New York. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's we got partners. Yeah, that's it's everything. general. You know, yeah. it's one of the ones where you know obviously we thriving as well. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the ones right there. How can people get in touch with y'all and do business, man? man. I'm sure we got some techies out there. Yeah, yeah, man. There's a lot of ways to get in touch with us, but info at textgiving.org is the best way to get what in touch. What are you trying to speak in code or something? What you mean? There's a lot of different ways to get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are these <laughs> different ways? Then? Hey, you because got it's, info it's at textgiving.org. That's the web. Yeah. I thought you were going to say some tech shit like they don't have to get in touch with us. <laughs> we'll get in touch with you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we got the web, like you said, we got the website, textgiving.org, but email info at textgiving.org is well there too. But ultimately, man, we on Instagram at Test Given. All, all socials, different man. socials as well. There too. That's Instagram. I that's wanted TikTok. to ask you though, like, what sparked your interest in this? Like, was it some? Was it the grow up gaming or like, what? What was it? For real, like, if we want to be honest, for me, it was just that I was, like I said, my parents pushed me into it. You know, African parents. Um, but a lot of people saw that, you know, this just how good tech was, and it was like, yo, how do I get into it? And I'm like, yo, I'm answering 10, 15, taking client calls a day, like a week. And I'm like, yo, I need to create an organization, a business around this so that way I can do this at scale, essentially, right? right? So that's really how it came about. For real. And plus, and this is one of those industries where you could literally write your own check, you know, depending on your skill set. Yeah. Right? That's what attracted me to it, to be honest. Yes. Yeah. Was the opportunity to, like, be a face that I don't see too often in the space, to be one representation, and two, to, like, actually create a future that is endless. Yeah.
you know, I feel like a lot of other industries are kind of capitalized or cannibalized by like other people that ain't us. And I feel like tech is the only place where it's open. I feel like that too. Cause like I said, you can get a whole bunch of opportunities for some shit. You ain't even got to see them folks. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Man. That's the beauty <laughs> of tech though. You know, you don't got to see the people that, you know, you building for a lot of these roles. Like you got to talk to these people and you don't know, you know, you got to do a lot of like legwork just to get something across mm -hmm. the finish line. Tech, push a button, type something up. You done. Have y'all connected at all with your with your Nigerian people? Like said anything oh, of any man. kind of networking back and forth? You know what? A hundred percent, man. Like even with us, like we you know we always try to go back to the actual continent um, as well there too. Like usually around December. I know you heard of Deku December. Yeah, yeah. That's a big it's a big thing as well there too. So we we'll always try to pay it for it. It's like a big ass time. like music fest and yeah, all that exactly. shit going yeah. on. Yeah, you know. Because yeah. okay. yeah. everybody from essentially here in the U.S. that's first generation or you know came over here to work or I'm gonna go this year. Yeah, act like I'm. A, no, pull up. You be welcome, just, man. Just act pull like I'm. No, yeah, come on. This is my cousin from America. That's Legit. That's really though. what you should say. Everybody yeah, yeah. does this for real. So they don't <laughs> have to question <laughs> my shit. Yeah, like, yeah, nah, nah, he be really bro. Nigerian? Like, yeah, bro, yeah. he bald. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, yeah. I'm going to give you the secret, bro. Just put Oluwa in front of That's whatever it. your real name is. Oluwa Los. There you go. Good. Good. I'm just going with y'all, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. I want one of them little hats that's it. <laughs> Can you give me one of them little hats, bro? Yeah, I know you talking about. I want the big I want, yeah. We got you trapping. Let me get you right. All right. I'm going over there, bro. Native colors. Yeah, 100%. All that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. But look, bro, I know this y'all first time stopping through the black market. Don't let this be the last oh, time, bro. I'll be saying this shit on camera, bro. When we get in touch with black professionals and people who do things and we can cross network and make something happen let's do it bro i would i would love to work with y'all thank you for having us man this is a, a great space i'm gonna give you our flowers because this this facility right here man, this is this is amazing this now is it's time to take it to the next level we need to take this bitch out we need some teslas outside all this shit. ar vr activations we can, let's talk. absolutely I mean, that's, that's have the ai set up where i could just be at the crib and it just project my hologram that's it you can really do that absolutely <laughs> <laughs> we can figure that out, though. We're going to yeah, we gonna get you right, man. No, That's awful. what's up, man. I'm going to get with the tech guys. I got some old footage from the 1800s of some black people. I'm going to see if we can get together and have them fix the audio 100%. so we can start working on that. 85 South and Tech's Giving sound good together. Come on, man. 85 Tech's Giving. Oh, <laughs> already here first. Come on, man. Wait, is, that, is, that, is that mean you're going to be at the, the conference in December? What? That's in Nigeria? No, no it's going to be right in the Washington, D.C. at the Kennedy Center, December 11th to the 14th, man. I bet. I'm going to see what my schedule is looking like because we on yeah. tour. But I'm definitely trying to All get right. into the tech. And now that y'all, my partner's in there, y'all got to start me off slow. Come on now. Show me how to rebuild That's a hard drive or something. Lua Los. Yeah, Lua there Lua it Lua. is. There it is. I mean, I got to <laughs> ring the bell right there because there's some money on the floor. Hey, hey black market, man. Thanksgiving. We out of here. I appreciate you, bro. Man, that's love.